what we're going to do in this video is give ourselves practice representing fractions that you're going to see a lot in life in different ways. So the first fraction we're going to explore is 1 fifth. Then we're going to explore 1 fourth. Then we are going to explore 1 half. So let's start with 1 fifth. So I encourage you to pause the video and say, and think about how would you represent 1 fifth as a decimal? Well, there's a bunch of ways that you could think about it. You could divide five into one. You could say that this is equal to one divided by five. And if you did that, you actually would get the right answer. But there's a simpler way of thinking about this, even in your head. You could say, well, let me see if I can represent this as a certain number of tenths. Because if you know how many tenths, we know how to represent that as a decimal. Well, to go to from fifths to tenths, you have to multiply the denominator by two. So let's multiply the numerator by two as well. So one fifth, one times two is the same thing as two tenths. And we know how to represent that in decimal notation. That's going to be 0 0.2. This is the tenths place. So we have exactly two tenths. Now let's do one fourth. Same idea. How can I represent this as a decimal? Well at first you might say, well can I represent this as a certain number of tenths? But, and you could do it this way. But 10 isn't a multiple of four, so let's see if we can do it in terms of hundreds, because 100 is a multiple of four. Well, to go from four to 100, you have to multiply by 25, so let's multiply the numerator by 25 to get an equivalent fraction. So one times 25 is 25. So one fourth is equal to 25 hundredths, and we can represent that in decimal notation as 25 hundredths, which we could also consider 2 tenths and 5 hundredths. Now let's do 1 half, same exact idea. Well, 10 is a multiple of 2, so we can think about this in terms of tenths. So to go from 2 to 10, we multiply by 5. So let's multiply the numerator by 5 as well. So 1 half is equal to 5 tenths, which if you want to represent it as a decimal is 0.5. 5 tenths. Now why is this useful? Well one, you're going to see these fractions show up a lot in life. And you're going to go both ways. If you see 2 tenths or 20 hundredths, to be able to immediately recognize, hey, that's 1 fifth. Or 25 hundredths, hey, that's 1 fourth. Or 1 fourth, that's 25 hundredths. 1 half is 0 0.5, or 0 0.5 is 1 half. And it's not just useful for these three fractions. It's useful for things that are multiple of these three fractions. For example, if someone said, quick, what is three-fifths represented as a decimal? Well, in your brain, you could say, well, three-fifths, that's just going to be three times one-fifth. And I know that one-fifth is two-tenths. So that's going to be three times two-tenths, which is, well, three times two is six, so three times two-tenths is six-tenths. So really quick, you're able to say, hey, that's three-fifths is six-tenths. And you could have gone the other way around. You could have said six-tenths is equal to two times, is equal to three times two tenths. And two tenths, you know, is one fifth. So this is going to be equal to three times one fifth. And once again, these are just things that you'll get comfortable with the more that you get practice. Let's do another one. Let's say you wanted to represent, let's say you want to represent, actually let me do it another way, 0 0.75 as a fraction. Pause the video, try to do it yourself. Well, you might immediately recognize that 75 is three times 25, so 75 hundredths is equal to three times 25 hundredths. And 25 hundredths, we already know, is 1 fourth. So this is equal to three times 1 fourth, which is equal to 3 fourths. And over time, you won't have to do all of this in your head. You'll just recognize 75 hundredths, that's 3 fourths, because 25 hundredths is 1 fourth. And now let's do, let's say we have, let's say we have 2.5, and we want to represent that as a fraction. Well, there's a bunch of ways that you could do this. You could say, well, this is 5 times 0 0.5, and that's going to be 5 times 1 half. Well, that's going to be 5 halves. It's an improper fraction, but it's a fraction. And so once again, the whole point here, and you might already be familiar with different ways of converting between fractions and decimals, but if you recognize one-fifth, one-fourth, one-half, it's going to be a lot easier. 
Notice if you did it the other way around, it would be a little bit more work. If I said, let me convert 3 fifths to a decimal, well then you would have to divide 5 into 3. 5 into 3, and you'd say, okay, 5 goes into 3 zero times. So let's put a decimal here. Now let's go to 30. 5 goes into 30 six times. 6 times 5 is 30. You subtract, and then you get no remainder. So this wasn't a ton of work, but this one, the reason why I like this one, not only is it faster, but it gives you a better intuition for what actually is going on.